Så! Ja, jag är fan i background. Great, ja, ja. Efter one week, hon är då. Ja, så är det. Let's watch it, man. The amazing little demon girl trying to get, I don't know, revenge on that magic girl that's in the period. Freaking, yeah, evil, I also evil magic girls. And, you know, showing off to her subordinates. She's the best. <laughs> yeah. Skade glädje, the best character ever. So, three, two, one, and go. Episode four here, of course. Of uh, Little Yaya. The great little demon lord she is. Look at that ass, man. This is where I belong. Yeah, she's like, that's my throne. Oh! Is it finally the only cat, the purple here? Okay, there is the demon lord. He wants to. He also wants to be the number two. But that's ever wants really to be number two, right? Yeah, I don't want to be number one. I want to be number two, man. Sarva. Okay. Um, here. <laughs> so this is Yaya's great rival, or something. Yaya probably is unaware of uh, Sarva. I'm not guessing Yaya is like, who are you, or something. Yaya probably never even thought about the, the, that character exists. He's like, huh? What? You tried to kill me? <laughs> This is the cute Yaya. Oh man. Oh, she's so adorable. But yeah, show them Freud or skull together then. An anime you wanna laugh at like little girl crying. This is an anime for solicit people. <laughs> the magic girl is definitely gonna be that school girl, right? So certainly. Um see wait for Yaya to also befriend that little girl. It's a little girl in the opening ending, right? Like I you know what kind of no I guess like a normal random little Girl next door or something. And there's douchebag kid too. <laughs> but he's not befriend him, but it's also that douchebag kid is like hey hey hey. So he's guess gonna best be an annoying guy. But yeah, a little magic girl there. And the dog I guess is gonna be <laughs> the enemy of the landlady though. Know? That was great the extra part of the with the space fight, yeah. <laughs> the landlady coming to a spaceship. You have paid for your spaceship, yeah? <laughs> what pay for it? I'm a pirate! Well here we go. <clears throat> Will she become the great Yai again? Sona save the demon world. Gonna be a sexy cute again. Big up ice. Come on. Okay, so this is uh, the, her rival, I suppose, right? Miss Sarva, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Of course, she is like Melona, she's you know, best in lava, of course she does, she's badass, man. All badass to buy food, man, they freaking do lava bats. So I guess Sarva's been trying to <laughs> kill her here for... Okay, so I guess this is like bad luck. Maybe Yai has good luck. Well, probably not, but against this person, right? I am much more intelligent and more powerful! But who is number one? Like, you know? Who's number one, right? Yeah, they all keep wanting to be number two. Who's number one? Who's the demon lord? Who's like the... She's the queen, and how, who's the husband? Yeah, who's the number one, man? But yeah, he also, also wants the games, of course. But then... Sarah wants to become the demon lord, of the great leader, right? Yeah, who is the number one then? Why, why is the why is the dream to be number two? Wouldn't the dream be to be number one? Wouldn't the dream be to conquer all of them? I guess you killed first number two. Oh, here she is. Look at that ass. Yeah, there she is in her true form. Her oppa form. Yeah. But I guess the thing is that she's always bad. I guess she always has bad luck, I guess. Yeah, impressive killer is it? It's gonna be the landlady, right? It's gonna be the landlady or the dog made from the opening. Talking to me? Someone else, of course. She says, face my presence. It's probably like the landlady or something. She's like, what? Yeah, we're gonna fight me? And it's like the landlady or, <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's like, yeah, it's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog from the opening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's turning to this nice girl now. It likes dogs. She likes pets now, right? She's, she's a cute little... She's turning into more wholesome. That's why I feel that the yolks are gonna maybe be weaker. Oh, here we go. This is a new stuff, though. Yeah, this is something new here. I and mean, like, there's some, uh, you know, drugs here, yeah. Some uh, cheating powers. 
<laughs> yeah, you were naive! But I, I'm better as I mentioned earlier. I mean, I guess it correctly. I'm gonna guess correctly again here. That Yaya has never even mentioned this. They never even noticed this character, right? And Yaya is like, Salva? Who's that? Yeah. So she's probably never even realized that the character exists, right? What that's whatsoever, right? Ever, never. I guess the dog is gonna get the power. It's a dog that's always chasing her in the opening, right? So. Yeah, three months of hard work. Here we go. Can she lick it on the ground? Get down here and lick it. <laughs> but, see, I feel Yaya's never probably even... Doesn't even see this character exists, right? This is like, what, who's my rival? My big greatest rival? Never even heard about it. <laughs> this anime is weird characters. Yeah, I need to bring her down! No matter what. It's gonna lick it on the ground here. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> Yeah, Gragas. <laughs> I got the dog doing it though. The dog is gonna do it and turn into her, get this rival. But you saw her play with the dog! Oh, she's, uh, it, it's why she never wins because you saw her play. See, yeah, the dog is just, oh, chasing her, right? So, yes, here we go. The dog also gets two powers, I guess, or something. <laughs> the dog is just gonna turn into her, get this enemy, the big spice up dog here. I guess he just makes it big. Doesn't seem to give it extra powers, it's just large, extra large doggy. Okay, fight her for me! <laughs> okay, doggy, fight her! <laughs> Turn into an etchy moment instead. I don't know why he will attack either of them, she's gonna lick it, this is a happy dog, right? But I guess she's afraid of dogs. Maybe after this thing she's gonna hate dogs. <laughs> A girl in cosplay is getting eaten by a dog! Yeah, a girl in, a girl in custom weird cosplayer! A young girl, a young cosplayer gets attacked by a huge dog. <laughs> yeah, local youth group had to save her from a very thirsty dog. It's like, what was happening? I think I've seen them before! <laughs> it's a huge dog, yeah, I think I've seen them before. I can defeat both puppies and kittens! <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. Puppies and kittens are my each. I guess she has to make all these powers, I guess. So she's kind of alchemist demon then. She has to spend all her time making badass potions. Looks like a meth lab. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is her dream. She's an alchemist demon. <laughs> in her vision, the landlady works for her, yeah. In her vision, the lucky just kind of harem uh, waifus. I'm gonna embarrass her for her waifus, yeah. Exactly. She's uncool. This is gonna ruin her image of them. This is gonna make her lose her waifus. Great strategy. Great strategy. Yeah. It's gonna lose her waifus. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great, great strategy. Great strategy. I'm gonna crush her her wife with dreams. So yeah, I'm picking up you know one piece now with rubber ball. Shop a rubber balls here. Ah, here we go. I'll be a clone. Ooh, look at that. Look at that asset, baby. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's hot goddamn. Kurugel demons are also the best kind of demons. Nice boobies! So like, goddamn, they're so big! Yeah, ah god my old boys! I mean, actually she's super exposed! I never thought about how good it is. <laughs> I'm realizing what a perp she is, yeah. Yakko! <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I love this, okay, I love this, yeah. The landlady's gonna be like, Where's my money, bitch? Yeah. Exactly. It's like, I'm gonna make her hate for her. The land's gonna be the crap out of her now. I will never pay that! <laughs> huh? Nani? Here we go, yeah. The landlady is not her, it's not a waifu. Does she never pay rent? What? Was that evil scumbag? What a demon! <laughs> yeah, who is this evil landlady? I have to destroy your reputation, <laughs> yeah, but what is her reputation? What is her rep though? Stupid human, <laughs> Ningen! <laughs> yeah, disgusting Ningen! Here we go. She's like, yeah, you sure on that? Little Yakko? Yeah. It's like, oh wait a minute. It's not ruining her rap at all. 
Yeah, wait a minute. But maybe if Yaya is lucky then. Yeah, she will pay, right? And then she will actually pay the rent for uh, Yaya. And then Yaya is gonna be plus one. Yeah, you're awfully. This thing, this, this time was really easy. <laughs> yeah. Hope you ass complied next month. Yeah, it was way easier than last month. <laughs> she used to be taking a lot more crap out of her. Yeah, it was way easy. <laughs> but that is great for Yai because now Yai is like one month free, right? One rent free month there. Awesome for her. This is awesome for her. It's an enemy she never noticed and she just pays her debt to someone. This is the greatest enemy ever. Oh, I have to work for her job too now, I guess. It's like, yeah, you, can you take a work for me? Is she my Nakama? Okay. Oh, <laughs> this woman, I'm gonna ruin it for her. Okay, here we go. Yeah. But I like it since we care about that, yeah, Yai is dressed up as a, you know, in her cosplay outfit. Yeah, she's a customer, I see, yeah. She's gonna do her job now too, she can just get, <laughs> get bought rent for free and salary for free. Uh, it's awesome, she's like... Oh no. No oh my god, no, she's gonna take her take a depth again here and Yeah, I'm gonna go troubles. Yeah, oh yeah, very funny. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna make it. Come on, I'm gonna change get dressed around like some kind of itchy, you know, girl, right? Yeah, she's gonna have work for her. So what is so I guess she didn't get to to a job or something. Where's Yai then? She didn't go to her office. This our office. I'm oh, sorry, restaurant my office. What I'm saying. Yeah, but why didn't you go to the job then? She's like, I wanna. I'm lazy today. I guess she's better than Yai at the job probably. She's probably great at the job, right? <laughs> she's probably the. Yeah, she's probably the best employee she ever had. <laughs> like, I wanna keep her, yeah. You should keep her every day. It's like, whoa, Yaya, it's got an extra salary tonight. She's really good. We got some bonus check for this thing. I did a great job today. <laughs> I'm really good at my job. <laughs> this is like, what? You were brilliant today. You've never seen you be this competent. It's like... Every customer loves you! She's like, yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Great rep for... Yeah, I make her look better than she's supposed to look. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Why? Every time! Oh, I love it. Like, oh, every time I try to ruin her life, it gets better! Maybe she, maybe it's tied to her, she becomes second in command. You know, but she keeps trying to... Well, it wouldn't make sense, it wouldn't make sense because she was already... Second in command, she started by, but still, he feels like she kind of pushed her to become famous. She, she was help, she's her assistant in the background. She's her, uh, you know, um, secret best supporting friend, right? Yeah. Kind of like playing basketball with a specific person. She kind of throws you the ball, you know, behind you. Yeah, kind of gets you the bonus there. She's so emotional today. Yeah, she's such a good girl today. Rough day, eh? She gets some food at least. But I wonder what Jai was doing. Was Jai just out lacing? Yeah, I was like, I don't want to work today. So she's probably like, you know, laying at home being like, I don't want to, I'm lazy. She's like, they want to show up. She probably saw this boy is sleeping at home, right? What a trap. I guess, as I said earlier, I'm I'm sure that Jai has never even met this person, right? She doesn't even know she exists, yeah. The damn you, Jai! Yeah, yeah, he is it's probably sleeping at home, right? Yeah, of course he is. Jesus slept, right? Of course, I knew it. Called it, babe, I called it. Ah, she overslept. <laughs> oh no, I missed my work there, yeah, she's overslept, right? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew it, it was obvious, that was obvious though. That was obvious. She was like, what? I was supposed to work today? <laughs> of course, she just slept though. But she get one rent one for free though, she should have more money in order. Plot hole! Goddamn plot holes, baby. This is clearly a plot hole because she she just has more money now, even that she, you know she paid for her rent for a month, right? But I don't know how she has a little money because she lives and works for the same people. They kind of pays for her rent by working for there, so she kind of has the same system there. And she gets food from working there sometimes, so her salary has to be really low, man. 
Her salary has to be <laughs> ridiculous to battery. <laughs> I want money without working yet! And who doesn't? Yeah. Give me money! I don't want to work for it though! It's like, god damn it. Uh, but I mean, her greatest rival made, you know. Uh, yeah, she, of course, got her one day for free, right? Oh, this is like a mall, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, I guess before, I mean. <laughs> That's obviously a mall, but when you saw the sign up there. I was thinking of actually uh, Dragos mate. They can have the same kind of sign uh, when Toru goes to the mall there, right? So I was like, oh, it's like a mall, right? Honestly, it's almost actually the same, right? It's probably some kind of typical Japanese mall, I guess, yeah. Yes. This is how I make money by, sp by spending my money. <laughs> you gotta spend money to make money. She's, yeah, he, she's just, you know, investing, investing, yeah. <laughs> this is. You gotta have the guts to spend your money to make more money, you know. This is how it works. Oh my! <laughs> I need one more! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that was a great scene. Oh, that was awesome. It's so good! I want more! <laughs> I love it. Like, you gotta spend, come on, you gotta spend money to make money. You would want to watch this with all raw people. It's a demon lord. What, what, you know, they're demon second in command lord. Whatever, demon movement. I don't know why she used to, you know, steal stuff. I was just mean to some random woman here to... Haha, <laughs> they're gonna buy anyway though, okay. Wait a minute, what am I doing right now? <laughs> God damn it, guys, you're supposed to save your money. Stop buying everything. How did this happen again? <laughs> oh my! Should be on my right. Oh my! How <laughs> does this keep happening to me? How do I keep buying stuff and loving it? Damn it! Yeah, I have 160 yen left to become rich, sweet. But yeah, of course, 100 yen is like nothing. It's like, it's like less than a dollar. Yeah, so obviously she can't buy much of this thing. Uh, her salary has to be really bad, right? It's like, oh, can I get a pork bun, maybe? You can't see her? What is this? Is she invincible? What's happening? Can she like steal stuff? No? Okay. No, she still gets the, okay, she spent her last yen. It's Umai after all, so... Yeah, look at it, it's so, so my style. This is gonna, she's gonna turn naked now, she's gonna turn to a big Oppai form. She's gonna grow her Oppai's right, she's gonna like, you know, go maximum size here in Oppai's. This is probably how good this thing is. <laughs> Farewell, my hundred yen. <laughs> Stop buying food, guy! But I guess that's why she's just having money, she keeps buying everything she sees, she keeps... <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, that's right. My food is awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yep, so proud of his food there. That's right. Um, she's gonna die. In episode. This is the last episode, guys. Episode uh, four. Last episode. There's no way she can survive this now. Two weeks without food, you know. You know she's getting raw people, maybe. She's like a demon door, you know. Eat food where she works, maybe. Yeah, she's just eaten, I guess, in a few weeks or something. Yeah, it was eating, right? She hasn't eaten for a few days, I guess. Can't afford, uh, she's getting all... Losing her... But what does she actually waste her money on? Food? It is part of my budgeting. I don't eat anything for two weeks. That's how I save money. <laughs> it's like, okay. But isn't it kind of her fault of the landlady? Or the owner, I mean, landlady's sister. She's basically the owner of the, right? the family. Isn't she paying her too little? Because honestly, isn't she not... What is actually Jai buying? Is she just like buying... She's buying food. Yeah, like, what is she actually buying? She's wasting money on. I think honestly, this issue the anime. It's not like Jai is wasting her money on frivolous stuff. You know, like, I don't know, like... Um, our friend, he bought two uh, segways, okay. 
that's kind of a frivolous buying, right? He's like, oh, you're about to say it. Also, like, why do you need say And he also broke his arm rather than say with his hilarious. But it was so funny. But anyway, <laughs> he scored the gladiator's call it. Yeah, he, he bought a Segway. I helped him actually set the episode one. Then he arrived with his brother and he did two Segways, one brother each. And then he, he fell on the road and broke his arm. He was just, come on, that's hilarious to me. That's to me, Scott the Gladiator. You know, Show for it. Because I was like, why do you need a Segway for? And he's like, come on, this badass new IT stuff. I'm like, you don't need a Segway. He's like, oh, but it was like, save this, man. Normally, the Segway costs like, you know, $2,000. But now I can get two for like 800 each. So I saved like $400, man. And I'm just like, you don't need one. You don't need two Segways. You don't need... I we can ride it together. Like, I don't want to ride a Segway. So, yeah. So, anyway, he bought us two Segways. And then also bought me food because he couldn't carry them. So he, he had to ask me to uh, help him carry the segways when they were kind of in the package um, back to his home or whatever. So, one. so I had to pick them up with him. And then he bought me lunch for that. <laughs> so he lost 10 more dollars <laughs> to buy me lunch. Less less of money though compared to the segways. Uh, and then he rode the segways and broke his arm. Yeah, You know, Scott the Gladys, Scott the call it. But anyway, honestly, with Yayi, yeah, it's not that she's buying segways, you know, I, I'm just like, I feel it's a little issue here that she's like, yeah, okay, she's buying like a meatball or whatever, 100 yen, you know, she's buying like a little pork bun, 100 yen, you know, that's like very little money. She's like spending one dollar on the shore, it's, it's like my grandpa said, Munga Becca Smo, a lot of small lakes makes an ocean. Munga Becca Smo is a Swedish special, yeah, a lot of, you know, tiny lakes makes a big ocean, so get eventually to the ocean, right, but still though. But anyway, it's an S branding class lady. Oh, she's a mangaka now? And she tried to make extra money doing hentai, maybe? Or maybe it's like um, some promo art for his... Uh, he's a former part paying her. Yeah, she loves it. Like, she's getting turned off by this. Yeah, yes, master! She gets it turned off by being called she's useless, yeah. Yeah, I am useless! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I guess she's getting turned on by being called useless. Yeah, he's like... She loves her job. Yai sensei, I'm not here. This is like some random spoof of if Yai was a mangaka. I guess the landlady is probably her editor, right? Landlady is like, she's gonna get her manuscript now! I think the landlady is probably is her editor now, then, right? A pitiful telemarketer. <laughs> okay, the good translation of it. Was she pretending? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's good. the land is going to be editor, right? It's the, it's the, if she was a mangaka, obviously the land lady is now the manga editor, right? So she be like, you're late for your... You're supposed to give your manga to yesterday, right? Yeah, every month you're late with your manuscript, right? Of course she is. Yeah, I was like, oh, I work! <laughs> and now he's like, shut up! I don't want to do shit! <laughs> of course. Yeah, I like her. This is how every mangaka works, man. He's just lie on the ground and scream. <laughs> She's writing an old manga, I guess. Of course she is! The great Yaya is the, is the, the yeah, is cancelled. Yeah, no, you can, can't cancel a manga, right? This is the author's uh, just doing a meta joke. This is the author's real life here. Gotta make my boobs bigger. Here we go. I just gotta make my boobs bigger a bit there. I like it, she's just like booking on the boobs though. I need to be the bigger, yeah, come on. Now. Oh no, and she of course push out the ink on it and ruins it. Not my op eyes. Yeah, she inks up her op eyes. God damn it. Classic manga issue. It's not Susie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a great episode. So, the great Sarvus, Sarius appears. A little cute cosplay girl, yeah, a girl in cosplay suits that is like, uh, I don't know, always trying to murder Yai. And it's pretty obvious that Yai never met her, right? Yeah, this is like, I'm Yai's greatest rival! <laughs> and obviously Yai has never seen her, right? Because Yai is like sleeping in the lava or whatever, right? Like sleeping with some monster, she gets eaten by that, like, you know, relaxing in her, like, onsen, lava onsen, and she gets like falling through and burst more, right? And of course, she's just trying to attack Yai with the dog, and the dog eats her. Her alchemist power portion and the dogs and you know plays with her and you know get owned by the dog right so obviously Yai never met right Yai is like completely unaware like in this episode he definitely was unaware of it but I think it's gonna be a thing right I said it immediately and I 
I think definitely that's gonna be a thing that Yai is completely unaware that this girl exists, right? <laughs> Yai is just like, what? I have a rival? <laughs> and, that's, and I mean, she's probably never gonna see it, right? I mean, the whole anime, the whole the whole anime, the whole episode is probably, Yai is probably never gonna realize that this person even, even exists, right? And she's like, Yai has tried to fight me for years. I've been hurting her, you know, I've been trying to murder her for 20 years now. We, we are deadly enemies and, and Yai is going to be like, what? I have an enemy? <laughs> so that, that's a really good premise, yeah. This anime has some really good characters. That's a really good premise here. She's like some kind of, uh, basically like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yai is constant assassin, but she doesn't even know she's an assassin, right? Like, it's just, it's, it's brilliant, yeah, like, honestly. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest jokes ever, this anime. I think the anime is really, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the anime is really funny. This episode was great. But I don't think it's the, I mean, honestly, it's not the best comedy in my life. I mean, Kaguya Sama is better than that, yeah. But it really has a good premise of the characters. Yeah, this is the thing I used to, yeah, like, honestly, I think it's one of the best premises I've ever seen, honestly. It sounds kind of, I'll say it, obtuse, so I'll say that, whatever you want to call it. But it's kind of like, no, but I kind of like, yeah, it's like, it's not the greatest comedy thing I've ever seen in my life. But from a premise standpoint, this is really, really well done, right? You have this, like, demon girl is trying to kill the main demon girl, and the main demon girl never met her. Like, she doesn't even, doesn't even know she exists, right? Of course, I mean, I said it, but you know what I mean, yeah. And it's obviously gonna be a thing, right? It's like, obviously it's an anime going on, like, ongoing jokes. This anime has a lot of, like, you know, we kind of repeat the same jokes over and over again, in different kind of scenarios. Clearly, that's kind of the formula. But this is that a formula, right, that is... I've seen it before, but not in this level of it. And so I think it's brilliant. It's really brilliant. It's a simplistic uh, formula of here's her Osh and Osh and Osh, Osh nemesis, <laughs> nemesis, always trying to murder her. This horrible dem demonic nemesis, but she's never even seen her. She's never even known to try to murder her right? because this girl only helps her, said, like paying for her rent and so on. So it's like a, it's a really brilliant, like you know, simple formula to create a funny character. Obviously, these jokes are gonna be the same joke every time she appears, right? That she's uh, talking to the landlady instead of the landlady beats the crap out of her, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's gonna be the thing right every time she's the part of it. That she's trying it to ruin it for Yai, and then, of course, Yai like, makes money in her, and she gets punished, that, right? So every time she tries to, of course, assassinate Yai, whatever, right? She's the one to, to get the punish for the karma, it's a bitch, right? So, it's just it's a really brilliant premise. This premise is brilliant, yeah. Like, the, the idea... Of the cat's billion. Then I have, you know what I mean? I, I laugh. I mean, I'm not saying it wrong. I, I, I'll probably give like a 9 out of 10 episode, right? I think it's really, really funny. So I'm just saying, like, I have seen funnier animes, right? Konosuba says it's funnier too, and so on. This is definitely a very funny anime, but I think it's just, I think it's just interesting. It's how, it's just, for me, again, a very simplistic idea of having a character always trying to get the main character, and the main character never really sees them, and, the, and she, keep, but she keeps thinking the main character, you know, oh, she's afraid of me, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kill yesterday, and every time whatever she does, yeah, I mean, it's very simple, but I'm saying, but it really works, it's a brilliant premise, true this. So, I'm honestly very impressed by the anime in that sense, because, yeah, I mean, I've seen this before, I guess, similar characters', characters standpoint, but uh, this feels like the, to the extreme, right, like, it, it, is, it is really great, yeah, and, I love this part, she, the landlady is like, oh, you're Easter today, man. You used to be way closer, I just punished you more. And I was like, oh, she never pays rent. And also, it was great, but she course, did a great job at the, at the restaurant. She's like, oh, man, I'm very good at my job. <laughs> Everyone loves me. Like, wait, I'm, I'm, no, I'm putting a room in her career. No. <laughs> Everyone loves her now. Get him. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I used to, no, I go, yeah, you slept at home. She was just lazy. Anyway, guys, that's the yeah, yeah, I won't be defeated. Definitely won't be defeated by this girl, that's for sure. The fake guy here. She definitely won't be, be defeating her. Uh, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, well, I think I see with Tokyo Revengers episode 20, right? Yeah. And I can watch 